Hello, church. I trust you're having a wonderful day today after our uh, inclement weather over the weekend. And I uh, hope you're blessed today as we study through the Word of God. And we're looking at Hebrews 6 today. And we'll continue on with what uh, Brother Bob was talking about yesterday in terms of growing and not getting locked in the nursery. Uh, in fact, verse chapter 6 starts out, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. And here the writer is not saying, that's not important. He's saying, that is important, but don't camp out there. Don't camp out there and say, this is as good as it gets. This is all I need right here. There's more. Always more. Jesus always calls us higher, calls us to more. Uh, and he says, so we can move on from where the Lord has brought us and grow in him and grow higher and, and grow more. And he gives a little warning in here. And in Hebrews, we'll see several warnings. And I believe these warnings are meant to maybe make us uncomfortable, not to scare us, but to make us uncomfortable. And this book was written, we'll see in chapter 10, to people who are under persecution and I believe one of the messages the writer is giving, he is giving the message that Jesus is better, better than the old covenant, better than uh, the old sacrifice, better than the way you've been taught all your Jewish life to live. Jesus has supplanted all that and perfected all that, and he's better. And so grow into that. Grow into that. Uh, don't just find Jesus the better part, and camp out there um, because things are going to change. And we'll see in verse 10, chapter 10 rather, that these people are under persecution for believing this. And so the warnings come as an admonition that if it gets tough, don't give up on what you know. Don't quit what you know. Stay with it. Stay with it because it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the gospel. It's Jesus. It's the fulfillment of, of God in Christ. And so if you just have a little bit and you've just tasted a little bit of Jesus, when persecution comes, that may not be enough to hold you. So grow and more, grow and grow in Christ and gain more and more, more revelation, more intimacy, greater uh, expression with him, greater walk with him, a greater surrendering of our lives to him so that when persecution comes, and it will, then we're able to stand. And that's kind of the, the basis of these warnings in Hebrews. And a couple of verses that really stuck out to me in, in chapter 6, uh, verse 10, For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. God will remember what we've done. His reward may not come immediately, but he will remember. He's, he knows. It's recorded what we've done for him and in his name. And then verse uh, 19, he, he talks in, uh, he talks a bit about Abraham there toward the end and, and talks of Abraham. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. That's, that's Abraham. After he patiently endured, he obtained the promise. So it took a while, but he, he arrived, he got there. And then verse 19, um, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul. Man, isn't it comforting in this day and age in which we live to know that we have Jesus. We have the hope of Jesus, the hope of heaven, which is an anchor for our soul. Be blessed today as you read and study Hebrews 6.